Today on Trash Panda Off-Road, we got the 94 in the shop. We're going to do a fuel filter. Let's climb under here. I'll show you where the fuel filter is and what it's going to take to get it out of there. Actually, right there, right there. Yeah, I know that crossbar is rusted out. I bought this car from a coast, so has issues. There is the fuel filter. And it's supposed to have a bolt here holding this net in. And then there's a bolt on top. I think they're tens. And then it's got banjo bolts on the ends here and here that hold the hoses to the filter. So I think these are 17s and then we'll figure out what we need to grab into here to hold the actual filter. And we'll take those off and swap the new one in. It should only take a couple of minutes and we'll try not to get gasoline everywhere. The object here is going to be to get that out put this one in there without spilling as little gas as possible on the new ones you got to take that little cap out of there obviously because it won't thread in if it's still in there so it's just a little itty bitty cap like so gives you an opening to thread into also the new one comes with new crush washers one goes on each side of the banjo bolt I'm going to leave the car flat and not jack the rear end up to see if that changes, if that's better or worse to how much gas comes dripping out of that thing. Same with, um, not going to pinch these lines off, just going to go for it. That will help you guys have an idea. Uh, if you go to do this, you'll be like, hey, that guy on the internet did it wrong. This is what you need to do. And it looks like this wrench doesn't going to fit in there. Okay, I changed my mind. I went ahead and put it up on the uh, jack stands or the ramps. And it looks like i got to pull it forward a little bit because it's almost off the ramps. Um, rolling around under there, not enough room for a guy. So even on 33s, <laughs> there's not a lot of room in there. So we'll go ahead and roll this thing forward back into the groove, and then I'll climb back under it. Oh, that's way better. Now I got room to move around down here. Get out of the way, hopefully, when the gas starts coming out of this thing. Couldn't find a wrench to fit in here, so just going to use a pair of pliers, because don't plan on keeping this filter anyway. So let's see what happens. Oh, knock the camera out of the way. That's never a good sign. Nope, doesn't look like it's going to grip it. Nuts. Maybe right here. Make sure I'm going the right way. All right, new plan. I don't know what it is yet. Hopefully we have the right wrench here. What we did, we took the 19 and just kind of popped it in like that. In theory, now we should be able to get this thing to come out. I can figure out which way to go.
Ah, there we go. Okay, we got some movement. And we got a little gas coming out already. And I'm probably still gonna need that. Oh no, maybe not. Okay. Let's get my stuff ready. We'll switch this thing over. Let's see how much gas we lose while we try to get this thing worked out. And put the new one on. Put that right there. Oh, gas is cold. Wasn't too bad so far. All right, put this back up here in the hopes that we don't drip more fuel. Oh yeah, it's full. All right, put that right there. Pop that bolt out. New crush washer on this side. One on that side. Hope this is coming out on the camera. New filter. All right, we'll tighten it up and go to the other side. Put this one back down. Whoa! It's leaking fuel like crazy. There's that other washer. So, go ahead and put my finger on it for right now. Yeah. Same principle. Break this one free and see how much fuel we lose. All right, get my lock washers, crush washers ready. And I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but we're doing it this way. Now you guys know how to do it, um, so is that you can find a better way. That wasn't terrible. New washers on each side. New fuel filter. All right, we'll get that all tightened up. Got both sides on. Stick it back up in here. Goes like so, one-handed. If you had the, if I had the bolt, I would put the bolt back in there, but I don't, so I'll probably run some wire to hold that back into place there. And we'll fire it up, make sure it doesn't leak, and call it a day. No leaks, no drips. Only lost about amount of fuel as in this. Um, not terrible. So that's how I change the fuel filter. Sure, there's a better way. Um, maybe pinching the lines or whatever, but this is the way I did it. Take your this advice with a grain of salt. I'm not a mechanic. I just do this for the heck of it. Well, I do the work because it has to be done. I record it for the heck of it. So if you enjoy this content, please subscribe to the channel. Follow along, Trash Panda Off-Road um, on the Instagram. Leave your comments, of course, down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.